So today I want to share this concept with you, data essentials and the disciplined pursuit of less. So for those of you that haven't come across this before, essentialism is a philosophy that's put forward by a writer, Greg McEwen, a few years ago, and this is how he describes it. A disciplined, systematic approach for determining where your highest point of contribution lies, then making execution of those almost effortless. So what Greg is reminding us is that the only resource we really have is our attention. And what we give our attention to dictates our outcomes. So we need to be really deliberate and conscious of where we're channeling our attention and primarily focus on our highest point of contribution and then be ruthless in el eliminating the rest. And it gives us this really useful and really simple diagram. So on the left hand side, the energy ball with the multiple arrows coming out of it. This represents modern life where we're pulled in 10 different directions. We're made to think that uh, other people's priorities are our priorities. We're made to believe this illusion that we can have it all when clearly we can't. And the inevitable happens where we're pulled in 10 different directions, not going anywhere fast. And what Greg is suggesting is that we move to the right hand side where we have a clear sense of where our highest point of contribution is. And we channel our attention and focus into that single purpose and eliminate the rest. So the inevitable happens where we make much more progress, we're way more effective and we're way happier as a consequence. And the reason I want to share this with you today is I'm increasingly seeing a conversation between our mentors and our mentees are boiling down to this concept. And I'll give you a very recent example. Uh, one of our recent customers had uh, 14 different data chance initiatives currently running and it was very much looking like the left hand side where uh, pulled in 14 different directions, not going anywhere fast, a real lack of purpose and direction for the whole data team, um, and really lost about where their real contribution is to the company. And what our mentor ended up doing was looking at the two most commercially promising projects that really looked like they could contribute to the objective of the company, um, and asked our customers to focus on those two and eliminate the rest. And inevitably, projects end up being successful and really contributing to the bottom line of the company. And I'm just thinking, you know, how much of this is really going on? Um, and I suspect that most of the time when data teams go off track or data programs fail, it really boils down to this concept where they lose sight of their highest point of contribution and focus on too many initiatives and too many projects that aren't really important uh, and end up getting a bit of a mess and, and a bit off track. So. I just want to share this with you as, as something to think about today. And I think we could all probably ask ourselves more often, what is your highest point of contribution? And then once we've answered that question, we can really start eliminating the projects and activities that aren't contributing and will be way more successful and effective because of that. So just something to think about today. Thank you.